Hey, what's up? It's Imani Hakim, and you're watching That's Hot. I'm going to the Olympics. The Olympics? Wow. What's, what's her, her name? name? Gabrielle Douglas. Gabby Douglas. Oh, I can't afford to send her to Iowa. You can't afford not to. You think there aren't other little girls out there who miss their family? You can be the best in the world. So what do you want people to take away from this movie? What I would like people to take away from this film is that Gabrielle had her own hardships and she had her ups and downs with this whole thing and going back and forth with herself and whether she was going to quit or not. She really wanted to quit gymnastics. Um, what people don't know is that Gabby had her own options that she wanted to do outside of gymnastics that she was just going to give it all up and do those other things. But she had courage and understanding and knowing that there was something better and her dream was much more, you know, bigger than that. That's hot.com. Com. What I wanted to ask you is, I know just from watching when Gabby was uh, competing in the Olympics and some of the hardships she had to deal with mm -hmm. in the media then with her hair, mm -hmm. and do you feel like she had a lot of adversity because she was African American? Yeah, um, that's something that she also experienced before joining the Olympics. Um, mm -hmm. She was one of the few black gymnasts at her gym and she, she always... Uh, she experienced some bullying and some sly comments about race and things like that she's always had to face. But um, she never spoke up about it to her mother until later. She just mm -hmm. kept a, you know, a, a positive attitude and she stayed strong because gymnasts are trained to not show emotion like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like with the whole hair drama during the Olympics, I feel like that's something that's not even important. Why are we paying attention to something that's not as nearly as she's big? Breaking, yeah, she's, she's breaking records. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, here, here we are. We have this amazing gymnast in front of us, and all we could do is talk about her hair. Mm -hmm. it, why are we picking on her hair? So, and but you know, there's no need to talk about that anymore because look at where she is now. Hair doesn't matter. She and her she, her story is being told on Lifetime. Exactly. Honey. Yes. And her hair got her there. <laughs> and her hair got her there, along with those legs and those flips. Exactly. And, and exactly. yeah, and it's just it's really awesome to 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 have such a young story, a young person's story, mm -hmm. especially, you know, starting off Black History Month. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've we've had a lot, I was just speaking on that earlier, we've had a lot of incredible African American movies that came out in 2013, mm -hmm. and I think that this will be a great um, television story. Yeah, definitely. Gabrielle's story is definitely one of those stories that needs to be told. Mm -hmm. um, it I feel like it's going to inspire so many young people out there. Uh, I feel like so many people are going to be able to relate. I was able to relate mm -hmm. to the story myself. I read that you related to the role because you had some similar struggles in your youth. Yeah. Gabrielle and I experienced similar things um, by her living in her van. Um, I lived in my van. Um, her being separated from her family at such a young age. She was 14 and I was 15 when so I feel like um, people are gonna watch this and and really really relate and just yeah I think it's really gonna and touch all people, a lot of people and, and yeah. all people not just African American no. but but also women in general yeah it's, it's one women of those empowerment things, exactly it's one of those things where it, it uh, um, even though we've moved forward in society. Um, if people don't look down on women as much, but it's still one of those things like if she can do it, I can do it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, I love that. If she can do it, I can do it. Yes. I think that's that says it all. Yeah. That speaks volumes. Don't right let there. anyone tell you that you can't do something because 
they don't know what they're talking about. Um, if you if you stay positive and you're driven and you're motivated, you could do anything mm -hmm. if you put your mind to it. Representing Team USA in the That's hot.com.